Next speaker I have is uh, Christy Mack. Welcome. Hi, I'm Christy Mack. I live on Pine Street in Stillwater. I'm here tonight to speak about priorities. What are your priorities as a board? What are the priorities of our administration? I know the standard generalized answer has been that what's best for all students is the top priority in our district. However, actions speak louder than words. It is seriously disturbing to see this administration wanting to plow ahead with new projects when at the same time the mess created by Bold has not been cleaned up. Children and parents have been left in the dust while at the same time there are new plans to spend a whole lot of money that we just don't have. Regarding the proposal for a new bus terminal property, the bond set aside $3.5 million for a bus terminal. The latest proposal is to purchase a $5 million property. That doesn't include the cost to prepare or improve the property to be a bus ter terminal. If you do have the extra funds to go above and beyond what was set aside in the bond for the bus terminal property, where would these funds be coming from? And also why then couldn't extra funds be found to get the additional specialists in place that were promised by Bold? <laughs> Additional specialists could bring tremendous relief to the problems occurring at Anderson Elementary. The parents have been crying out for help. They need additional support staff, not additional staff that comes at the expense of another school losing their support staff or by having their support staff time cut down. Issues related to bold. Lily Lake Elementary is teaching its fifth grade classes in one giant space that is literally separated by bookshelves and movable storage units. When I first heard of this, I didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. When will actual walls be built to make these classrooms? Adventure Club is held in a windowless storage space at the back of the gym. Knowing situations like these, a pure lack of space, have been created due to bold, it's hard for me to understand why we wouldn't prioritize our funds to address these existing issues and make them a higher priority Rather, for, rather than, for example, building an additional or an addition onto a brand new elementary school. Children at Brookview are not suffering from a lack of space, and any growth that occurs in the South can be accommodated for by reopening existing elementary schools. You have placed the fourth and fifth grade gate students in the middle school and provided no playground. They remain quite isolated from their peers. The plan for them could have been much better thought out by pairing them with a sister school so they could feel like a part of a larger group of their peers and enjoy the elementary school experience. Why aren't we talking about these existing issues and how to improve the situation? When Bold was first being proposed, there were promises made in presentations by our administration regarding support staff to help with the transition of students from closed schools to their new schools. One particular presentation stuck out to me when it was said that the culture of the closed schools will be carried forward and recreated in the new. To my knowledge, no such support was put in place nor occurred for elementary students during their transition. Teachers and principals are the glue that kept things together during this, the transition. And I also think it's important to add that I've talked to parents recently who just want this year to be over and are looking for other options for next year, which is really disheartening to hear. Rather than stopping or slowing down and focusing in on supporting the people affected by the changes that have just occurred and really focusing in on what's on our plates, we continue to plow ahead. At what cost? This mentality does nothing to help with growing purposeful, meaningful relationships between students, teachers, staff, and administration. I highly recommend that you give a presentation on the true accounting of BOLD, a before and after picture. I'm talking about hard numbers. I'm talking about transparency and accountability. Have people who thought BOLD was going to give them everything they so desperately needed receive things they needed? Maybe a little reflection is in order before plowing ahead with yet more ventures. The proposals that are before you regarding a new bus terminal property and eventually a decision on an addition to Brookville Elementary seem incredibly reckless and highly irresponsible, not only from a financial perspective, but also from the perspective of having much higher priorities to deal with, such as relief for Anderson Elementary, and to fulfill all the promises of old. It has not been proven, even in the slightest, the need for action, especially regarding the purchasing of the bus property, 
but also for the addition on a Brookview. There needs to be a discussion regarding wants versus needs amongst the board and our administration, just like we teach our kids. Please let's get our priorities straight, children first. Thank, Thank you very you. much.